in Oregon. Oregon. And now we're in California. And we're back in Oregon. I already did it. <laughs> you messed it up, Paul. You gotta let me know. Well, I just did. And we're back, back in, in Oregon. Oregon. So Autumn has been telling me about my fans complaining about my absence. I was away for a little while in my other job as a CIA assassin. I'm back, baby. And you think he's kidding. And I know what you're thinking. We found a beautiful overlook off Highway 101 to park our car and just walk over and take these lovely shots. Oh, no, no. This is where we're staying at our Airbnb. Impressed yet? We eat, are. Eat your hearts out, babies. <laughs> Let me give you a little uh, spin around of our view here. This is the house. The owner lives upstairs and we're in the downstairs unit. And it is just beautifully landscaped, as you can see. And there's a big hedge right there. I'll zoom past that quickly. And then out here, this is our view. It is incredible. This is the Oregon coast. Should be obvious at this point. And uh, there's the spin around. We also, we're on our jacuzzi deck here, our hot tub, which we have been enjoying. This big island out here is called Goat Island. It's also known as Bird Island because a lot of birds nest out there. It's the largest island off the coast of Oregon and people are not allowed on it because it is a bird sanctuary. These are some of the neighbors. Isn't the landscaping here beautiful? I just love it. I could live here. Just about anybody could live here. It's spectacularly beautiful. Oh, can you see that little dot right there? It's a dachshund. The owners here have dachshunds. Right next to the hot tub is the stairway, and this stairway goes all the way down to the beach out here. So we're gonna try that now. Pretty steep. What you think, Mr. Hemingway? I'm thinking we have to go back up. Yeah, that's my problem with this. Can we call a cab or an Uber? Maybe an Uber. Here's where we just came from. Isn't it pretty? Those were starling jays that you just heard screaming, fussing at each other. I think what we need to get back up is a Sherpa. Okay, we've come to a little crawling space here. Are we going for it? You ready to get on your belly? Nope. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. You first. Might be easier if you just lean down instead of trying to pick up a tree. Well, it got almost to the bottom. Paul gave up, but I got almost to the bottom and then I had to give up. The trail was too overgrown and there was no getting through there and it was pretty steep and I don't have a walking stick. We're going back up. Well, we woke up this morning to this fog. We can't see Goat Island over there at all and can't see the ocean at all. There's something out there. It's like Stephen King's The Mist. And due to this fog, we are going to get in the car and head south for a little, oh, there's a little bit of the ocean, <laughs> for a little bit of a photography trip. We're hoping the fog will still be in this location. So come along with us.
section of the park. It's massive. This one's not so giant. We're in Crescent City, California now. This is the city that's closest to the Redwoods, the Jedediah State Park. And we're at the harbor checking out the boats. We came up here to look for seals because I've seen a bunch of pictures of seals just covering some of these piers, but we haven't seen any yet. We found the seals. They're on the other side of the marina, like south of it. Uh, in the little harbor area and they have these two floating docks and the seals are laying on those. When I walked up one on this pier got into the water and then a bunch of them jumped up like what just happened? There's one kind of snorting over there. There goes a seagull. They have the most giant seagulls here. I don't know if you can tell how big that thing is but they're huge. Oh okay. Seagulls trying to land on the seals for some reason. Or maybe steal fish of theirs. Oh, here's somebody's head in the water. Can you see that? Now we're at Harris Beach, just down the road from where we're staying. And I'm gonna climb that rock. Or maybe I'm not. Because they have this sign that says no climbing on rocks. One of the things you will notice, I'm sure, is that it is quite windy on the Oregon coast. for the first time. Not sure if I'll like it. The waitress said you either love it or hate it. You got two little pieces of it. It was $20 market price. Kind of pricey for a gamble. But I figured when am I gonna have another chance to try it? So let's do this. To me, it doesn't even have a taste. It just has a texture like, um, 
like some sort of a... Uh, like a pate. Like a pate. Yeah. But I can't get a taste from it. Yeah. Not really good at all. Yeah, I tasted the seaweed more than the urchin. There's rice on the bottom, sea urchin on the top. It's wrapped in seaweed. It's usually cold. I can't make it hot, but it depends on the refrigerator. After a little bit, it's a little salty. Oh no. It has a very soft, mushy texture. There's no chewing, it just. It's not pudding, it's thicker than. Almost like gelatinous. Yeah, almost gelatinous, but not quite. It's, it's a little more mealy than that. And it, I taste the seaweed more than anything. It's like eating ocean cream. Blackberry ginger creme brulee. It's amazing. It is a new day. We have stopped along the side of the road. I'm gonna show you the view over here. It's beautiful. There's Paul. And then as we scroll around, I'll tell you what we're gonna do today. We are headed north. We're going up to North Bend, but we're gonna make a few stops along the way. I'm gonna take you with us. And we're very sad to leave our Airbnb. And I'm gonna swing you over the edge of the cliff here and try not to go over myself. Is that not beautiful? Here's another viewpoint of the same place. And I'll tell you what, last summer we went to Maine. We did the Eastern Coast tour up there looking for great photography spots along the coast. And what we found was it's, it was really difficult to access the coastline. We're finding the opposite is true in Oregon, that there are spots like this just up and down Highway 101, and they're really easy to access. In fact, the access is so good here that if we step like five feet forward, we can join the seagulls down below. And I also don't know if you can tell how steep this is, but I mean, it's pretty much a straight drop down. That's as far as I want to reach out because um, I don't want to step any farther. Okay, here's one more viewpoint for you. So I'm gonna pan the camera down here and you can see the beautiful flowers, I hope. Entering a tsunami zone, leaving a tsunami zone. Entering a tsunami zone, leaving a tsunami zone.
Did you know there are giant sand dunes in Oregon? I didn't. Apparently there are. We've seen the dunes in a few places, but it seems like the biggest ones are here. Who is this person coming up behind me? Am I about to be attacked? Oh no. Hi. Hi. Come here often. No, I don't. It's my first time. Sandy Beach. Did you know there are sand dunes in Oregon? Well, I guess I know now. We're in a local pub connected to a bowling alley, and it's actually really good. We got nice drinks, here I'll focus on the bar. And you can see they have quite a selection back there.
There's a mountain. 